Hey y'all, let's check out Lost Unicorn. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be checking out Lost Unicorn. This is a fairy tale forest fantasy themed sim. This land is TP friendly, and I am in the shared environment, so let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So because this land is quite dark, I decided not to be on theme and just kind of wear just a real cool casual outfit. So we have some gold accessories today. Um, nothing too major. Got my hair up in a little bun. For the holdables, I have a little phone with my matcha. Very, very simple with the outfit. Just a little jumper with a little hoodie sweater, like a cut off hoodie sweater. For the shoe action, yeah, we get, we got some black forces today, y'all, because I don't mind getting these dusty. So we got the little black forces. So we do a quick pan out and go up and out. So this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So when I first dropped down on this land, when I panned out, I just saw mostly trees, but I did see like a fairy tale castle, which is why I'm assuming that it will have a bit of like a fairy tale flair to it, but it also gave very fantasy with the lights as well as the shared environment that they chose. So I'm really excited to see what they have. So when I panned out, this land did seem quite large, at least one Sam. So I really felt like this was gonna be a really nice place that um, we could venture around and just look and see what we could see. All of the really pretty nice things. What is this, like a bird bath? Yeah, so it's cute. It has like a little castle picture in it. Did the picture change? It looked like it might've been changing. I love the colors here. Look at this. Look at how pretty this is. I love the sky. It's so nice. Oh, this is a big castle. Now, I did not pan out to see um, if we were in the sky. It did not seem like we were. I panned out pretty far to be able to see like the whole um, land and that definitely is lending water down there. So we're, we're on the ground. So we have a cute little tea set. This has a very nice like romantic feel, but because of the colors here, it also has like a, like a childish type vibes. Not saying it's like childish, but like kid friendly. Like kids could come here. This is a moderate Sam. So if you decided that you wanted to bring the kitties along, um, you could very well do that. And they're gonna be lots of places for them to explore with you. This is a nice little unicorn. What do we have over here? I wanna see if we can go in the castle. Sometimes they'll have castles, but you can't go into them. So this one did seem like one that we can go into. So inside the castle, they have couple dances. Super cute. Oh, you know what? Let me see. We've been in this castle before in one of my other videos. I forgot the name of the video. I'm gonna um, put a card up for it. But we've been in here. So I am excited to see how they decorated this space as opposed to um, how the uh, castle on the other land was decorated. So they have like a little diary, lots of little seating spaces. What's up in here? I be nosy y'all, I really do. I like how although, oh I love that sound. I love how although the lighting is dark, they have a lot of bright accents so that you don't like seem like you're walking around like in pitch black. What's up here? This is beautiful, look at that. Beautiful. And then we have the linden water, my favorite water in Second Life. It's so pretty. And then we just have some more seating spaces. What do they have? They have some goodies here. What is this? Cupcakes. Let's look at the cupcakes. 
super yummy, super yummy. It felt really good putting out a video yesterday. Well, the video actually went out um, earlier this morning. Yesterday was Mother's Day, so I procrastinated a little bit when it came to editing it. But it is out now and it felt really, really good just to kind of get back into the swing of things. I'm going to start incorporating um, shorts and things like that just to kind of get used to doing a little bit more short form content. I was doing short form content before, but I kind of want to get back into that. I didn't do any short form content um, for my April Diamond series because I really just wanted to focus on um, the long form content. But now that April Diamond series is over, um, I want to incorporate some short form content. I'm trying to figure out like what kind of short form content these little baby unicorns are adorable with the little baby dragon. Oh, I love it. So this land does have some interactive aspects to it, but it does um, feel more like a walkie type land. What does it say? touch to choose oh so they have places that you can teleport to we're gonna look around a little bit more and then we'll choose a some teleport option to see what they have i can appreciate a land where you know we're gonna look at the water because y'all already know and you hear it too yeah we're gonna look at it all those little pretty are those butterflies oh love it I appreciate a land where um, it's more just like for sightseeing as opposed to it being like interactive. You'll find in Second Life you have a very, in my opinion, a pretty even mix of both the um, interactive lands as well as lands that are just for more or less sightseeing like this land in my opinion and i really really like it you kind of get to vibe out however you want to in second life they give you a little bit of um everything that you can choose from so like on this land um they have you can dance and you can like have role play where you're eating and things like that but they don't have well thus far i don't see like any games or anything like that but then there'll be some lands that you go to and they'll be full of like games and different interactive things and bubbles you can ride on and walking tours and things like that but this land is a very just like it has just like a romantic fun vibe to it and it is really just like more or less sightseeing i really like this this is like a nice setup for if it was just kind of like a like after a wedding or something and the bride and groom would sit there and then you would have like seats all around kind of like a community chit chat or something like that i really like how they have that set up I love the unicorns and the little babies. I love these tree chairs. They're so pretty with the branches attached to them. I love that. I love the lighting. I love it, love it, love it. Everything just feels so enchanted and mystical. So this is another nice little seating area that you can sit in very nice you can sit at with a group of people or by yourself or if you're a couple or if you have kitties you can sit here with your kitties and then they have little books these are all like kid books well like kind of kiddish fairy tale type books but adults have read them as well so I really like that. So it does have like a bit of an aspect to it where it does hold like the true to like the fairy tale type thing. It's not kitty at all. It just has a very, I guess you can say like nostalgic type feel to it. I feel like that's a better word than kitty. Ooh, they have a little chest. Lots of stairs. I don't mind that. A lot of people don't like the windy stairs. They can be a bit of a chore in second life but you take your time and you'll be okay so they have this huge chest set i love this very nice can you click on them this might be like an interactive is this mad p it's giving me mad p vibes i don't know 
I love how even though a lot of the themes will be themes that we have heard of before, they never do them the same way. Each landscaper, each um, creator has a different mind frame of, you know, what they envision fantasy to be or forest to be or enchanted to be. And I just really, really love that they don't they don't all they don't all seem the same they just everything has its own like unique flair to it and you will see things on lands where you say okay well you know we saw that on a different land but then the creator will do it a different type of way so it's like yeah you saw it but you didn't see it this way you didn't see it like that like you you might have seen this hair before but you didn't see it with this outfit you know it's kind of like that i love these flowers She's giving powerful. I love it. And what do we have in here before we go inside? Another unicorn with the flowers. What do they have in here? This seems like another like sitting space and I love that. Oh, they got the little froggy. How adorable is the little froggy. And then we have these. The little lotus flowers everything is so sparkly i love it i love when they have like these very majestic table settings like everything seems so regal and grand and very like foresty i love it the bet the best has yet to come I love these flowers and this vase and the little butterflies with the little stones. I love it. What is this? Just a art. We've seen this on another land as well and they did do it differently. Very nice. Then they have this table where it's a very, it has like a very grand feeling to it, like a very special events type table. Let's see. We're not, I don't think we're going to go upstairs. I'm, I'm going to let you guys go upstairs. So they have a lot of um, dance areas that they have created. And I do like that. All of the views are beautiful. This is a nice group setting environment. I love this table. The um, woodwork on the table is very, very nice. Just some nice fruit. Love it, love it, love it. And then what's over here? The sculptures here are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So this is one of the destinations in the teleporter. So pretty. Okay, let's see. I love the sounds here. It's very foresty. You guys gotta have to figure out which one I chose. This is beautiful. Look at how pretty this is. There's a couple over there. I don't wanna I don't wanna interrupt. So nice. I love these little mushrooms they have. They look like they're dripping jewels. So nice. It's all smoky and romantic down here. Okay. Beautiful statues. That looks like a little fairy. Their statues are amazing. Everyone that I see, it's like so intricate, so very just on brand for the space. And I really, really like that. This is so nice. I love spaces like this. It definitely has that 
fairy tale vibe to it. They have a nice little sitting space over here. And I love a good fairy tale vibe. There was a time where there were so many lands that were just so fairy tale-ish. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm liking it, but it was becoming like every single land was fairy tale. And even though I did like exploring all the lands, I like when they have a nice mix of things. And this is a really nice mix of things. I don't know what this is. What is this? Is this a baby unicorn? It was looking questionable. I think it was twisted. What is what 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 do you got going on? Oh, it's so baby. I love it. Look at how pretty this is. Tell me you don't want to come here and take a picture. I dare you to sit and lie like that. Look at the little baby unicorn. His horn hasn't grown fully. It's like not yet. Look at this water. I love it. It's like shimmery. Oh, look at how pretty this is with the little lily pads. Y'all hear that? I hope the music I put over this isn't too loud. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at this. Look at the little waterfalls. Oh, so nice. Everything is just so magical. I love it. So this is another option. Very beautiful. They have some nice sitting spaces over here. The little deer. Look at this. This land is so immersive and I really, really love that. It's like every time you turn a corner, it's like so much more to see, so much more to just admire and just be in awe about. And I really love that. I love this. I love the colors. It's like a magic spell book. You guys, I love places like this. I love all of the little like mysteries beyond the arches that they have. Where you'll be just like teleported to another magical space. You don't know what animals you're gonna see, what added features are gonna be around. Is that a, is that a, is that what they're called, a centaur? I love this little by the bonfire type thing. Enough space for a lot of people. And then we have the centaur. How cool is this? I love this. Then you can go up and sit on like the little throne. I love how they have the deer and the unicorn just kind of coexisting with one another. Oh, you guys, look at what I found. Y'all know how I feel about an underwater world. Y'all know I loves me an underwater world. Ooh, this is like spooky. It's jeweled with a little clownfish. This space goes on and on and on. I love it. Each space is just as magical as the next. Then look at this. Is this like a little, are these like little baby mer, little baby mermaid y'all get out. Oh, look at the little baby mermaid. Oh, I love it. Now I have not ever seen a baby mermaid in Second Life before. I really, really like that. How beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. And so just when you think things couldn't get any better, this looks like they have a beach. 
I love this with the little mermaids just out chilling, playing in the sand. The water is gorgeous. They have lots of different seating options, it looks like. Over here, is this a seating option? Yep. So you can sit and chill over here, get a little massage. We don't know where that path goes to. But they have different paths. This land is so twisty, turny, windy, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it, you guys. So you guys, there is still so much more. I mean, tons more to see at Lost Unicorn. So make sure you guys definitely check them out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.